With this series of movements, you can have a corner of your living room, a space in your bedroom. We're gonna open up your hips, open up your spine, and once it starts to feel good, we're gonna stabilize your core. Then start moving into some strength patterns. Before we start, before you do anything, I want you to check in with how you're actually moving right now. So we're gonna bring your feet together. We'll all turn and face the same direction. You're gonna bring your feet together and we're taking a big inhale. You're gonna reach on all the way up towards the sky. Take an inhale. And I want you to exhale, look at your toes, keep your legs straight and just forward fold to what is comfortable. Don't force anything. Take a nice full breath. Notice how it feels to be hanging out in this position. And we're gonna roll on all the way up, just back to your standing position. Just notice how that felt. That's all we gotta do. Widen your feet just outside hip width. Turn your toes slightly away from one another and all we're gonna do is we're gonna sit down into a nice deep squat as low as you can comfortably go with your heels on the floor. Notice how it feels. You can move your hands down towards the floor, move your hips a little bit, just check it out and then we'll stand all the way back up. Cool. Let's turn back to front and we're gonna sit down onto our bums. And the idea now is to open everything up that we just moved around. So widen your feet just outside hip width. We're gonna drop our knees over to the right, wash the hips out, drop them over to the left. Good, we'll come back to center. And we're gonna connect the right heel to the top of your left knee. Perfect. Take a bow over your right shin. We're gonna hang out there for a second, take a full breath. Go to where it feels comfortable. And then we're gonna come on over top that knee and you're gonna take the same full breath and you're gonna just relax down towards the floor. Good, keep on coming all the way around and you're gonna bring your forearms onto the floor. And now reach your left arm super, super long towards the right corner of the room behind you. Wherever you feel space being created on that left side, take a nice full breath into it. Fantastic. Come on back to center, sweep all the way around back towards that shin. And then we'll come on up. We'll go on all the way over to your left side. Lock in your left heel towards the top of that right knee. Take the bow over the left shin. And then find the space that's being created. Take a breath. That's nice. And then we'll come on back over the knee. You can frame the knee with your elbows if you'd like. Take a breath. We're not rushing. This is nice. We're trying to let things relax, open up. Come on all the way back around. Come on to your left forearm. And when you get to where your body doesn't want to let you go anymore, try and keep your hips relaxed as you reach that right arm super, super long. And wherever you feel space needing to be created on that right side, you'll take a nice big breath into it. Cool. Fantastic. Come on back to center, sweep it around. You'll come back up and over. We got two more on each side. So wash the knees over. Take your bow, and you guys keep going. I'm gonna walk around and make sure you're doing this right. So take your bow, take your breath, and then walk your hands around, frame the knee. Take a breath, and then keep on going all the way over to the right. Keep on going, keep on going. And then take that nice big breath while you reach that left arm nice and long. You'll bring your hips forward, everybody. Hips forward, hips forward, hips forward. Good, now reach that left arm long. Long, 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 straighten it. Get it straight. There you go, good. Good, you guys know what to do. Let's come on back to center. That's nice, that's nice. Go back over to the left. Let's take a little lean over top that left shin. Take a full breath cycle, please. Make sure that right knee is locked into the bottom of the left heel. Make sure you're breathing into this. This is nice, go over that knee and then all the way around towards the left. Keep on going, keep on going towards the left. And then take the breath into the space that feels nice. We have one more pass on each side. So come on back to center and let's talk about our do's and don'ts. We'll drop the knees over to the right. Make sure that you lock that, that right heel to the top of the knee. When you go into the forward fold, breathe to what's comfortable. It might even feel better than it did at the start already. Come over the knee. You're not trying to force anything here. We're just opening things up to where your body wants it to go. And then all the way around. Come onto those forearms. The third time through, you might feel like things have already started to shift around. Take that left arm, really extend it. Reach long, don't half reach, really reach. Reach back to that corner of the room behind you. Take that breath. We'll come back all the way around. Come on up, last time through to the left. Clock it in. 
take a bow, like you just did something really nice. That deserves a bow. And then we'll come back over the knee, frame the knee, the elbows on the floor. And it's like, it feels good, you know? Come on all the way around onto the forearms. Really think on your last time through here, extend your hips forward while like you're keeping that right knee locked into the foot and reach that right arm super long to the wall behind you. Cool. Come on back all the way out of that one and we're gonna sit back onto your butt. To get into the next exercise, you guys are gonna come on all the way over onto your hands and knees. The next exercise is your kick save. My personal favorite for your adductor stretch. Do's and don'ts, keep your foot flat on the floor. This is a do. A don't is don't bend your knees. So you wanna keep your leg totally straight. So starting on your hands and knees, let's all come down to it, everybody. We're gonna start with our left foot kicking out as far as it can go. And make sure you're not on the blade of the foot. We wanna get right onto the flat part of the foot. Perfect. Keep your low back super long, and all you're gonna do is send your body weight back until your bum cheek's at or close to your heel. And then we'll slide forward. Notice when your foot wants to lift up off the floor, your left foot. As soon as it feels like it wants to lift or your knee wants to bend, that's your stop point. Send it all the way back just to what feels comfortable for yourself. And we only have to do this two more times. All the way forward, relax your breath, and then we'll go all the way back, opening up those hips. Try and keep your legs straight. Only go into a range that feels comfortable for you. If you don't, if you start to bend the knee or if it feels like your groin is gonna stretch into an uncomfortable position, nobody wants that. Not me, not you. And then we'll come back to center, let's switch it up. So you're gonna come down onto your left knee, we'll kick your right foot out. I always think of like a hockey goalie doing a kick save in the 80s on this one. We'll slide on all the way back, left bum cheek towards the left heel, and then you'll slide on all the way forward as far as you can go. Comfortably keeping that right foot flat on the floor, send it back. That's nice, we'll just do it two more passes, so three times total. And then we'll come on back. And then one more time, come back to center, well done. Cool, come on back, relax. You guys can sit for a second because what we're gonna do next is a pike arch. In your pike arch, the two things we wanna make sure, is one, that your shoulders are actually in the shoulder socket, and two, that your low back stays super long. And we'll talk about how to make sure that happens. So let's all come on to your mat. We're gonna go hands and knees. And before we send any weight back, we're gonna widen your hands just outside shoulder width. Make sure your palms, your fingertips, they feel like a strong base of support. And you'll tuck your toes, lift your hips up towards the sky. So send them back. So two things, first focus on the shoulders, getting right into the shoulder joint. You're gonna keep your elbows straight, nice and long through the arms, shoulders, and the upper back. Now, bend your knees like crazy and press your chest towards your thighs and then start to, bet, to straighten your legs, just so you can get that fine, fine stretch in the back of the legs, but keep that low back super long. We'll take a nice big inhale all the way forward. Make sure you're inhaling forward. Push your chest towards the front of the room. Look over your right shoulder and drop your left hip. Good, look over your left shoulder and drop your right hip. Fantastic, press back, exhale, and we're gonna take a full cycle of breath. You all have two more. I'm gonna take a break and then walk around and see what's up. So take, uh, let's all go back, keep going back, keep going, send your hips up, send your hips up. Yeah, I don't like it yet. Good, so press back, lift your hips up. There's the space. Take your big inhale, flow it all, all the way forward, everybody. Big inhale, flow forward. Beautiful, look over your left shoulder, drop your right hip. Good, let's do this one more time. Send your hips all the way back, all the way back. So everyone, start with a knee bend, press your chest towards your thighs, make sure the space right here on that low back stays nice and long. Shoulders are fine, that's good. Big inhale all the way forward. This is the arch part. And in that shoulder check, make sure you really drop the opposite hips. So you're creating length on the side of your body. Beautiful. Other side, shoulder check it. We'll come back to center, press your hips up, and you can come back onto your knees, and that is gonna be the opening part. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the step up, step back with a twist. So let's all stand on all the way up. The two things we wanna focus on here, definitely do, is to stay totally stacked on the knee that's on the floor. 
The other thing we want to do is make sure the shoulders are turning together. So we're not just turning one shoulder forward and rotating the other one back. That'll, that'll become quite apparent. Feet together. Let's do it. Feet together, and what we're going to do is step your left foot all the way back and come down into a low lunge. So the back knee is going to connect with the floor. Make sure you're stacked up. So shoulders, hips, knees are all in one straight line. You're going to look over your right shoulder and turn the shoulders towards the wall beside you. That's good. We'll come back to center, stand on all the way up. Right knee stepping all the way back, stack it up. And we're going to look over that left shoulder. Good, so that's one on both sides. We all have four more. Let's go all the way up, step your left foot back. Make sure you're nice and stacked. That's nice. Look over that shoulder and then all the way back up. Cool, our breathing stays relaxed the whole time. Step your other foot back. And we're gonna look over your left shoulder. Beautiful, that's two. We've gotta do this another three times on each side. Come back with that left knee. Let's start to pick it up a little bit because we're going super, super nice and controlled. So we're gonna stand on all the way up. You're going at the pace of your breath. Step that right knee back, stay stacked. Let's look over that left shoulder, back up. Step it back, right over that right shoulder. Beautiful, everybody, this looks nice. All the way up. Is anybody counting? Do we have one more? Two more? Cool, we'll go one more on each side. Look over that right shoulder. Good, we're gonna stand it up. Come on back, look over that left shoulder. Fantastic, you can actually cheat and bring that left foot all the way down. Okay, so we're gonna do some low planks here and we're gonna talk about some simple things that make a big, big difference. When we come down to the low plank, let's come shoulders right over top of your hands. First do is a definite. Keep your shoulders right over top of your elbows when we get down there, okay? The other thing is let's keep the neck from dipping down towards the floor. So, come on down to your elbows. You're gonna make little fists, make a fist, and then think about where are my shoulders? I want them stacked right over top of my elbows. Lift your left leg straight, press it straight back, and then now copy it with the right leg. Perfect, do a little check-in. Drop your hips towards the floor. That feels crappy. Lift them up. So they're in line with your shoulders. We want to think with a big inhale, take an exhale and try and bring your elbows closer to your toes. Oof, you'll start shaking. Inhale, relax. As you exhale, elbows towards your toes. I'm gonna break, you have three more of those. Inhale, exhale, pull your elbows towards your toes. Good. So you're gonna slide forward slightly, drop here, and then lift your head, lift your head, lift your head. There's that long neck, that's beautiful, man. Good. Cool, let's lift here, lift this up, lift this up. Now drop your bum. There's your plank, good man, sweet, well done. You've done like six now, so let's only do five of those. Take a quick rest, drop to your knees. Simple little things with your breath, with your exhale are gonna make a difference. Let's stand back up, we gotta do both of those one more time. So with those lunges, let's pick it up with our pace just like we finished the last time. Feet together, step your left foot back, hands together, drop the knee, look over that right shoulder, we'll come back center, stand straight up. Step it back, if you're feeling super comfortable with this, you can now start thinking about that back knee staying elevated. So we'll step back, if you wanna elevate it, we're gonna look over that right shoulder, come back to center, stand straight up. So let's all give it a try. Right foot steps back, keep the back knee from touching, look over the left shoulder, Good, and if you're finding that your balance is going, that's okay. We're trying to think about that hip stability. We're trying to create a little bit of core rotation. Still working in all those lines that we opened up at the beginning. Good, gang. And then I'm gonna join you. Is this the fourth or the fifth one? This is the fourth one, okay, sweet, thank you. You could have lied there, that would have been, a, that would have been the time. Step your last, your left one back. Look over the shoulder, fantastic, stand it up. And then we're stepping back. Look over the left shoulder, stand it up. And we're coming down and we know what to do. So let's come on down hands and knees, right onto the forearms. Straighten the left leg, straighten the right leg. Lock everything in, shoulders right over top the elbows. Inhale, exhale, pull your elbows towards your toes. Good, you got four more of those. Big inhale, strong exhale. Good, so we wanna keep the chest. There you go, lift those hips to touch. That's your plank, that's beautiful. Well done. Good, Chad, drop the chest just a little bit, lift your hips. There's your plank, beautiful, well done. Good, and that's connecting your core with your breath. This is a beautiful stuff. So the next set of work, we only have two things, we gotta do them five times. 
The next exercise is single leg deadlift into a forward lunge. Definite do's on the single leg deadlift part. Your front knee is allowed to bend. Back leg, we want it to stay straight. You'll see what that looks like. On our forward lunge, we're gonna load up that front foot. Let's all do it. Stand on up. So we're facing the same way, feet are still together. We're gonna mimic some stuff we've done. Both hands are gonna reach through the wall in front of you. Take a nice big inhale while you reach your left toe as far back on the floor as you possibly can. So your left foot's reaching back, your right foot's planted. Reach both hands. As you exhale, you're gonna stand up and kick that left foot all the way forward and lower down into a forward lunge. Cool, explode back up and then reach those hands forward, reach the left foot back. And if you really wanna go far back with that left foot, you have to bend that front knee. Good, all the way up and then step forward. Good, and then all the way back. You got it, so you're like two down of five. We got five more, or three more, sorry. Good, so everybody, forward fold, back, straighten that back leg, straighten that back leg, straighten that back. There you go, man, good. And then all the way up and step up forward. Cool, this is great. Keep on going, send it back. You're allowed to bend that front leg and if you're feeling shaky and wobbly, that's okay. Think about your biceps, the inside of your arms, getting close to your ears when you reach. And we're breathing now, we're actually doing stuff. Back leg straight, if your bent, knees bent, we're, it's not straight. All the way up, step your left foot forward. Is that four or five? I'm a terrible counter. Four, four? there was five. Okay, let's switch feet. Right foot, we're gonna kick that right foot back, bend that left knee, send your right toes, they're only there for balance, you're not putting any weight in that back foot. All the way up, kick your right foot forward, lunge it, stand straight back on all the way up. You got four more, keep going. Good, I don't wanna see that knee bend, everybody. <laughs> Come on man, forward fold it, get going. Cool, this looks good. Keep that back leg totally straight. So there's no weight in the back toe. It's just for balance. It's just for the little like, hey, I'm here. I'm like a kickstand. I guess that wouldn't make sense. Kickstands have weight in them. It's just there to be like, hey, I'm gonna help you if you need me. Good, this looks really good. And then the last one, we're gonna go all the way forward. And then we'll stand it all the way up. Perfect, stand to the back of your mat. Here's where we get into the fancy squat stuff. Turn your toes outside. Sorry, bring your feet outside hip width and then turn your toes slightly away from one another. Hands are together and we're gonna sit down into a deep squat. Before we get into it, the absolute do is keep your feet on the floor. When you are descending down towards the floor, keep your low back super long, all right? Hands together, take an inhale, sit down to the bottom of your squat. Elbows are gonna meet the inside of your thighs. Press your chest forward, roll the shoulders back, so you're super proud. That's nice. Exhale, stand all the way up. And now we forward fold, keep the legs straight. Walk all the way out into a high plank. Okay, before we move, bring your hands inside shoulder width. Shoulders, are they right over top of your hands? Be honest, nice, good adjustments. And we're gonna open up, bring your left hand up towards this guy. Stack the shoulders, stack the hips. Come onto the sides of your feet, that's nice. Come back to center, let's go the other direction. Right hand reaches up. Good, come back to center, walk back to your toes. Stand on all the way up, oh my goodness, we're at the start. Hands together, turn your toes, sit into the bottom of your squat, elbows tap inside the thighs, super proud chest. Don't make me say it twice, that's nice. I'll exhale all the way up. Perfect, forward fold, tap your toes, walk all the way out. And let's get into that nice high side plank on your right hand. Beautiful, stack the hips, keep them high. There you go, well done. Come back to center, you're still breathing. We're not holding our breath. Your head might explode. Keep your shoulders stacked, hips, turn them, get them stacked up, good. Come back to center, walk all the way back. We got three more. Cool, we know what to do, turn your toes, sit down to the bottom, we can pick it up now, we know what to do. Stand straight up, forward fold, walk all the way up. Stack the shoulders, open up the left hand up towards the sky. Come back to center, come back right hand up towards the sky. Come to the sides of your feet every time you side plank. All the way back, stand up, show me your best squat. Two left, straight on all the way up, exhale it. Good, forward fold, walk it up. When you get there, high side plank. There we go, come on to the sides of your feet, Herbert. 
all the way over there. Yeah, good man, well done. There's the work. Come back to center, other side. Well done everybody, this looks good. Make sure every time you come down to the bottom of your squat, your proud chest, let's do it again, all the way down. I think this is the last one, yeah? Forward fold, walk all the way out, let's go. High plank, shoulders stacked, open up the left hand. I like it. All the way back to center, make sure the shoulders are opening, stacking, back to center, walk back to the top of your plank. Oh, sorry, to the top of your squat. The good news is, is we get to do those two things one more time. <laughs> Come back to center, let's bring our feet together. We know what to do, we can go nice and fluid pace. Kick your left foot back, reach your hands forward. What's the back foot doing? Not a lot, it's just balance. And then we're gonna come on all the way up, step that left foot forward, kick it all the way back. That's one, let's go right into it. Reach, foot is opposite hand, stand straight up. Come on down into it. That's good, all the way back. You have three more. Reach your hands forward, kick your foot back. This looks way better. I guess I have to do it if I don't have anything to say to you guys. Okay, this is nice. <laughs> kick it back, reach the hands forward, all the way up. This is the fourth one, lunge it all the way back, kick back, hands forward, all the way up, kick it, all the way up, perfect, that was four, five, yeah, other side, let's do it, reach the hands forward, kick your right foot straight back, good, stand straight up, kick that right foot forward, lunge it, all the way back, reach, reach your foot back, good, make sure that back leg stays straight, lunge it, three left, hands reach, right foot back, Let's do it. Keep your low back super long. Keep your spine long. Reach as far away from your heels as you can. Step up forward. And then we got our last one here. Stand it up. Kick it forward. And we are on to our last exercise. It's already our last exercise. I'm starting to sweat. If not, have been sweating the whole time. We're doing squat walkouts. So let's bring our feet outside hip width. Turn your toes. We're gonna make sure our chest is proud, hands together. We inhale to the bottom of your squat. Make sure your chest is pushing through your shoulders. Exhale straight on all the way up. Keep your legs straight, forward fold. Walk it out. Set your plank, shoulders right over top of the hands. Open up the left hand up towards the sky. Come onto the sides of your feet. Make sure you're on the sides of your feet. Right hand up towards the sky. Beautiful. Come back to center, all the way back to your toes. Stand straight up. Get proud, sit to the bottom of your squat. Elbows tap inside the thighs. Exhale, straight on all the way up. Forward fold, walk it up. Set your plank, left hand all the way up. Beautiful. Come back to center, other side. I like it. Good, back to center. Walk it all the way back to your hands. I'm sorry, to your toes, stand up. Let's go three more, all the way down. All the way up. Forward fold, walk it out. That's cool, well done. Set up your high side plank. Beautiful, shoulders open, hips up, that's nice. Good, come back to center, other side. Don't hit me, Hervé, I'm sorry, well done. Come back to center, walk it all the way back. We have two left, everybody. Feet just outside, let's make sure it's comfortable. Sit to the bottom of your squat, elbows tap, straight up. Exhale, forward fold. Walk it out, high side plank, left hands up. Make sure you're stacking everything, there's space between the shoulder blades. Your neck is nice and long, all the way back. Standing all the way up. We got last one. Elbows tap inside the thighs. Exhale all the way up. Forward fold. All the way up. Best side plank of the day. Reach your left hand up. All the way down. All the way up. Right hand up. Come back to center. Walk all the way back. And then we stand all the way up. Okay, that was nice. Well done. Okay, cool. So step forward a little bit. We're gonna. Bring it down pretty quick. We wanna just bring our heart rates down and open everything up before we retest the stuff we did at the beginning. So for your side reach, what we wanna make sure we're doing is keeping the bottom leg totally straight. The other thing you wanna make sure is that other opposite leg is taking bent and up past the hips. I'll show you. Let's all do it. Lie onto your back. Left leg is staying straight, that thing doesn't bend, okay? Make sure the left knee doesn't bend. Right knee, give it a hug. You like your knee, it's your friend. Left hand is gonna pull it across your body. Make sure that that knee does not slide away from your hip. You wanna slide it towards your chin, it's up past the hips. Straighten that bottom leg again. Good, right hand, reach it towards the left. 
reach, reach, reach. So you're all reaching towards me. On your exhale, you're gonna open all the way up and reach that hand back towards the wall and we're just gonna hang out here for a minute. Check in, is that bottom leg straight? Maybe your hand can touch the floor. Regardless of like your left, so your right foot or right knee connected to the ground. If this is comfortable, you're gonna take your right hand, grab your left shoelaces. Trickery for the brain. You can hang out here, take a couple breaths. I'm gonna let go of mine and I'm gonna make some adjustments. You guys stay where you are. Cool, so you're breathing into this. Perfect. Perfect, you're like me. <laughs> you're tight, yeah. that's cool. Let's bring this knee up, relax this leg. There we go. Okay, so your left hand, bring it to the top of this knee. Left hand, the other hand, other hand. There you go, and this leg's coming back, coming back. Cool, so if you're like Herve, and you're tight, this bottom leg does not need to be grabbed, so let go of this leg. Let's keep this leg straight. And you, my friend, are hanging out here, and that's nicer. You wanna feel good here, you don't need to force anything. Bottom leg, make sure that knee is right below the hips. How long should you do this? Five to 10 deep breaths into your stomach. As you exhale, you're getting heavier. That's nice. Let's do one more of those. Exhale, relax your breath. As you come out of this, this is an intense twist. Let's come back to center very slowly, very gently. Give both knees a hug. And let's set up the other side. So both knees get a hug. And then from there, you get to straighten out your right leg. Kick it all the way straight. Make sure it is straight. Left knee, you like it, give it a hug. You're pulling it across your body with your right hand, all the way across. Good, the right foot or knee connects with the floor. Good, left hand, reach it across your body. As far as it'll go, take a nice big inhale. And as you exhale, you're gonna peel it all the way back into that opening up, nice side reach stretch. Good, check in, is that bottom leg straight? You might need to adjust it. That just sets the pelvis, sets the low back, so it's nice and safe and comfortable. Left hand, if it's available to you, grabs the right shoelaces. If it's not, we're hanging out here, we're supposed to have a good time, so let's make sure you're comfortable. Okay, I'm gonna get up, you guys stay where you are. Way better, Herb, I like it, man. Cool, so we're breathing deep. You're thinking, how can I get my breath as big and full on the inhale, and how can I relax and let it be heavy on the exhale? This is nice. Either the foot or knee is connected with the floor. There you go, that's your twist. Oh, y'all nailed it the second time. This is nice. Cool, let's do two more big breaths. Last one. And when you come on out of it, let's all do it together. Come back to center, nice and easy. Take your time. You're like a loaded spring right now. Give both knees a hug. And you can rock out your back, make sure everything's nice and chill, nice and smooth. And to like prove to ourselves that we improve stuff, that we're moving better and ready to go with our day, let's stand on up and let's retest that stuff we did at the beginning. So our feet are gonna go together. We're gonna reach up towards the sky. Big inhale. Look down at your toes, exhale, keep your legs straight, go to what is comfortable. Take a full cycle of breath. Notice if it feels different or if it feels better. Maybe you're reaching further. Rolling all the way up. Nice and easy, widen your feet. And we're gonna sit down into your deep squat and you're just gonna go to what is comfortable and it might feel different. Take your hands down to the floor, you can move things around a little bit. And then we'll come back up, we'll stand up. We will assume you are ready to get going and I'm going to high five all of you. Here we go, Thank well you. done everybody, here we go. That's good, well done, that's nice, okay, thank you. Here's what you just did. We mobilized your hips, we moved your spine, then we stabilized everything with some core work and some hip work. Hopefully you feel better, you're moving better. Now it's time to go.